Good morning. This is Nanny from Booties and Bonnets. Um, I haven't been on for quite a while, at least a few days or a week. Um, I've been kind of enjoying my dolls off camera. Uh, I decided this year I was going to spend a lot more time off camera dressing them and enjoying my enjoying my sweet reborns. Um, I've got a new little boy here. He used to be a little girl and I purchased, he was my very first reborn I ever purchased. Um, I wanted to show you. His name is, I decided to name him Jacob. So here's little Jacob and he is wearing a very cute little um, blue sweater with uh, little doggies, little dogs on it. And um, the story goes that I purchased him. He was my very first purchase about three and a half years ago. I bought him at a doll show and I just wasn't happy with how she was. She was a little girl and I decided to take a chance and paint, repaint her. So um, I do use air dry paints so it was quite a gamble but I'm glad I took the gamble. I thought she he turned out really cute. Um, he, uh, he's a um, Avery sculpt by Bountiful Baby. And I always loved his little face. Um, when I first bought him, I just could not connect with him or her. I mean, she was a little girl. In my earlier video, she was Isabel. And so I just could not bond with this sweet baby. So I decided I'm going to try repainting him and see what would happen and um, so I did and uh, in fact I did not strip him down at all didn't strip the paint off I just painted over the top of the other paint and uh, actually um, originally he was very pale and and I really wanted a little more coloring and modeling and and that and he did come bald as a little girl and I wanted hair on him, so I I attempted to paint my own hair. And you know, the fun part about this hobby as artists is that we can create our dolls the way we like them. And everybody has a different preference and different style. And uh, so, um, so I I just thought he turned out really cute. And um, I love his little hands. I even redid his fingernails and his, uh, you know, he's got gloss on them and his little lips. And this morning I came up with the name Jacob. I thought that was just the perfect name for him. So, so he was in a box for a long time and I decided this year I am going to take more time enjoying each of my dolls. I have about 15 dolls and some of you might think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of dolls. But um, I painted quite a few of them myself, and I do have one on, for sale on um, Reborns.com. Um, but I know the market, there are a lot of Reborns out there right now. And so I, you know, I just have to be very patient. Um, they're not just going to sell overnight. There are a lot of babies out there. Um, I do really like Reborns.com. There's many artists who do beautiful work there. Um, it has a very good reputation. Um, I think the web web um, developer does a wonderful job in how he uh, runs the um, the site and everything. So I've been very happy with Reborns.com. Um, so anyway, this is little Jacob, and I think he's just so cute. And uh, I just crocheted a little hat for him. I'll show you. I've been crocheting quite a bit. Um, let me see that the camera is on. Oh yes, it's on. And I've been making little hats and little booties. And my wish this year is that I'm going to be selling some booties and hats. And um, and this is all my own pattern actually. I didn't even uh, follow anybody's pattern. I just kind of learned as I went. And um, so... Uh, anyway, I'm really excited about being able to crochet some of these sweet little hats. Oh, I gotta put it on him so you can see what he looks like. He's just a cute little guy with his little crocheted hat. There he is. 
What do you all think? I think he's adorable. So he's just sleeping away. Um, I just love this little baby. I don't know. I, and I, the more I looked at him, I thought he just looks like a little boy to me. So, um, so this is Jacob, and he's wearing some little uh, booties that I crocheted. I think they're really cute. Um, you know, with, with each pair of booties that I make, I get better and better. And I just love the hobby of crocheting. And uh, so I told myself this year that I'm going to enjoy my dolls off camera a lot more. Um, you know, we, we all love to be on YouTube and enjoy our dolls that way and share them with other people. But it's great to be off camera and be able to dress your Reborns and interact with them. And you can certainly comment down below and tell me what you think about that if you um, like to interact with your dolls off camera. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with Reborn dolls, these are very realistic dolls painted by artists. So, um, and they really become very real to many collectors and they even dress them in real baby clothes. And... Just like guys can play with trucks and and trains, we can play with our dolls. We can interact with them. And so, anyway, so I just wanted to show you Jacob and this little chair I have here. I bought a long time ago, infant seat. I just love it. It's It's got a little music that you can play. Um, I'll put little Jacob like this. And I bought, it came with this little uh, toy bar. And I bought the little snail, I think, no, it's a turtle, I think, a turtle and a little lamb. I bought these to add on to, to my little uh, swing. So I just love this little infant swing. We love anything to do with real babies, even though these are dolls. We still love to buy baby things and, um, and that. So he's got a cute little elephant, cute little giraffe. I love that. So... So I'm really happy with little um, Jacob. I'm glad that I can take him out and enjoy him. He's not in a box put away. And uh, I think with many of us, if we get tired of a doll, sometimes it's better just to put it away for a little bit and then bring it out again. Um, I, I really believe that over time, I become more bonded with my dolls if I give it time. Um, it's amazing the older they get the more bond you get with them and the neat thing the neat thing about it is that they never grow up so you can enjoy them their clothes always fits um, so I'm just checking to make sure I'm still recording yes so here we have little Emily I haven't played with Emily in quite a while and oh my gosh she's another one that I had kind of put away um, this is the Logan Sculpt, and I created her myself, too, and uh, she's, uh, she, used, she was also a little boy, or, she was a little boy originally, and I turned her into a little girl, and I just love her little face. Once, once I put hair on her, which I rooted her hair, she looked more like a little girl to me, and uh, She's got a little more modeling up here, little splotches. Um, I, I like my dolls with more modeling, and of course every artist has their own style and everything. So, but I love her little face, it's so sweet. And she's got kind of strawberry blonde mohair in her hair, as you can see. And she's wearing a really pretty sweater. I did not make this sweater. This one I bought at a thrift store, I think, and uh, quite a while back. I just love my dolls and sweaters. They're cozy things for winter time. And she's wearing a little flowery top with little pink flowers and little pants with polka dots on them. And she's wearing some of the little booties that I made again. So, so I am hoping to make more booties for sale and more hats and that's just kind of become my um, interest right now. I love doing it. It's very relaxing and uh, um, and I wanted to show you a couple other little hats that I've been making that are going to be for sale. I'm just kind of uh, 
I'm going to make a batch of them because I don't want to fall behind or something like that. They take a little time for each one. When I crochet, I, I'm not a fast crocheter. I take my time. So um, I'm enjoying the journey of crocheting right now. But So this is little Emily. She's got a little veining. And, um, and one thing that we have to remember about this hobby is that everybody has different tastes and there's no doll that is better than any other doll. We all like our dolls for different reasons and um, you know I, I mean money is not the factor in this hobby it's whether we really enjoy our dolls that's the most important thing is if we love our dolls like this doll here I think I paid hundred and fifty dollars for little Jacob and um, even th that was very inexpensive, but I love, love him now. You know, I love the way he turned out. Um, I mean, to me, he's worth more than a $500 doll or, or whatever. I just love the way he looks. So money in this hobby is something that um, uh, we can enjoy dolls, whether they're, they cost $150 or if they cost a thousand dollars but um, so we just need to enjoy the hobby for what it is and um, I think that's what I'm trying to get across that yeah that this we're here to love our dolls to enjoy them no matter what and to be happy for other people who might have dolls that they are sharing and that so I wanted to show you the little hats that I've been making look at this one isn't that just adorable? So this is a little boy's hat. It fits a newborn baby. And it's really cute. So that again, it's my own pattern. And I'm kind of doing, yeah, learning as I go. So this is one of the hats I just made. I might make another one like this. I think it's really cute. And then this is a little girl hat for little girls. Um... So I'm going to make up quite a few more little boy and girl caps um, to sell. And they'll be listed on Reborns.com. And um, so anyway, but yeah, in this, I decided to make my channel for adults. Um, I think they are collector dolls and they're very, they're, you know, higher end dolls. They're not like $50 or $100 dolls. So we, um, there are many adults in this hobby, and so anyway, so I thought I'd read a little book. It's called The Baby's um, Bedtime Book by Kate Chirau. Even adults like storybooks, children's books. And uh, let's see, I was going to find a pretty one that I could read. Oh, let's see, there's some pretty ones pretty poems in here. I bought this at a resale shop. That's how I like to go shopping. And when I find something I really like, I just get it. So this one's called Dance Little Baby. Dance, look at the illustrations. There's the mommy with the baby and the dad. And look at the little cradle. I love the illustrations in this book. But it says, dance little baby, dance little baby, dance up high, never mind baby, mother is by. Crow and caper, caper and crow, there little baby, there you go. Up to the ceiling, down to the ground, backwards and forwards, round and round. Dance little baby and mother will sing with the merry choral, ding, ding, ding. So isn't that just cute? lovely? Yeah, I love these illustrations. The daddy is, um, the dad has a little teddy bear. He's going to give it to the baby. Look at the little animal in the cradle. That is so cute with the little uh, dolls. And, okay, let's read one more story. And then I think we'll stop here. I hope everybody's doing well. I'll read one more. Let's see, my bed is a boat. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Okay, this one's called Girls and Boys Come Out to Play. So all the little children are outside and they're all having fun. 
Uh, that's what childhood is all about. Going out and playing and using your imagination. And it says, girls and boys come out to play. The moon doth shine as bright as day. Leave your supper and leave your sleep and come with your playfellows into the street. Come with a whoop, come with a call, come with a goodwill or come not at all. Up the ladder and down the wall, a halfpenny rule will serve us all. You find milk and I'll find flour and we'll have pudding in half an hour. Oh, we all like pudding. So um, there are all the little children having a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy these poems and uh, look at the front page. I just love it with the little girl reading to her little brother or the little sister reading to the brother and there's a little teddy bear and there are all sorts of little pictures on the side and I just love this book. But uh, enjoy the hobby. Um, hope your, your year, new year is starting in a good way. Uh, for those of you who are not feeling well, I hope that you feel well, feel better soon, and enjoy your dollies. And remember this: that this is a hobby that we need to enjoy, and make it your own. Make it, make this, make your YouTube channel your own channel, and enjoy your dollies. And um, but thank you so much for joining me. Joining me, and my name is Nani, and A and I. And I hope to make another video soon again. So have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.